time, back again, to try another oidon. I'm going to make a, a pie crust. This pie crust is more for like lemon pie or the lime, kiwi lime pie. Or maybe like you could put chocolate pudding over the crust and it's a pre-cooked pie crust. And like I put chocolate pudding and I've put Cool Whip on top or Dream Whip is your choice. So right now I have, I'm going to make two two of these size pies, two little pies. And in here I have three cups of flour. And to that I'm going to add three, four, I'm going to add six tablespoons of sugar. And then I need, okay, I need about a cup of butter, three quarters cup. We could put in a cup because you can always add flour and make it more. And then at, as I get this mixed up, we'll add, when I get it to form like a little ball, I'll add uh, some cold water, two tablespoons cold water. I'm making this, stretching this for a two pie crust. my hands in there and get them all mucked up and <laughs> make a mess. I'm going to put another little bit of butter and some cold water as well. So let's mix nicely. Add another little bit. And then I have to set my timer. I'm using parquet margarine today, but I would rather have the Central Dairies butter or ever sweet anything along that line. the cup and see how that does. It might be just right. Just because I can. Oh, I need some more. Not quite enough. Oopsie daisy. So that's a half a cup of water now I've used here. There we have it, I think. It is a pie that. You can use a rolling pin and parchment paper if you want, like put one piece of parchment paper down under and then put another piece over the pie crust to get it to roll out. But I build it with my hands and I'll show you now in a second.
I must have added a little more sh uh, flour than I realized. Because it just don't seem to want to hug each other today. Okay. It'll be okay. There we have it. Yeah, what I do is I just flatten out this little bit. We're playing with Play-Doh, that's what puts me in mind. But it doesn't take too long because it's only small pipe bands, right? Okay, Do we have that part? My favorite lemon pie and lemon crumbles too. Anything lemon. Here we have my creation. Poor little creation. Uh, let's just get this up on the edge a little bit. Now I like to pinch it. Push and pinch. Just give it a little pinch around the edge. Now some people use a fork and they'll press down with the fork and make a indent. But I like to pinch. I do it my mother's way. She was one of the best pie makers around, I think. She used to make a lot of lemon pies in her day, I'll tell you. She was a very good cook and a very good baker. Okay, okay. So here is my one of my little creations, like I said, you just push along and if you feel it's a little bit thick, then just push it up a bit and give it another pinch. But that'll get a little design going. And I'll make the other one. So I'll work on that one when I come back. I'll have this pie done to show you the main results and I'll get some lemon pie in there and some meringue. Now then, I've baked these pies. It didn't come out as nice as I wanted, but like I said, when you use a different type of margarine or butter, it's not going to be the same, right? Okay, so here we have some lemon pie filling. Oh, 
Smoosh it all around a little bit. It should be just above there. the lemon pie filling. I've used one package and I've halved up the recipe. This one here is a, this one is a little bigger than this one. Here we go. The stove is up to heat. put in five egg whites and a half cup of sugar. So I'm going to give this a quick beat because it's already mixed up. I'm going to give it a quick beat and then I'll add it to the lemon pie filling and pop it in the oven. Okay, there we have it. Oh, it looks so good. Let's hope it all holds its own. what we can get out of here today you now. Now you can add, you can add as many egg whites to this as you like. The more egg whites, the better. And you can buy the egg whites itself in the stores and you just had to whip it up, right? And some people like to put Cool Whip on top when it comes out of the oven. But it's all up to you, what you like, what your favorite is, right? Okay. Yeah. Just leave a spoon in there. There we go. Just like make it like a few little designs on here, eh? Looks nicer at the end of the day. And there we have it, our handy dandy lemon pie. I got to have that, it was so good. Okay, I'm going to pop these in now until they're golden brown. And we'll see how they come out. Okay, here's my finished video. Of the lemon pie just needs to cool now and it'd be some shocking good so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did you can like and subscribe thank you